welcome back to another edition of Cooking with Paul. On tonight's episode, we're going to make a Brooklyn, New York special, a thick Sicilian pizza. You're going to love it. Let's get started. So here's what we're going to need. Our pizza dough, mozzarella, vegetable oil, oregano, and tomato sauce. First thing we're going to do is coat our cooking pan with vegetable oil. Then we're going to use a brush to make sure we've got it all coated and we're even going to coat it up the sides. Now we're going to start stretching out our dough. And here's where the fun begins because pizza dough is very elastic to begin with and being we're using a double portion to make the thick Sicilian pie, it's going to be like stretching a rubber band. Now you're going to want to place it in the pan, stretch it out, and then flip it over making sure that you get a nice light coating of oil all over the pizza dough. Now when all else fails, I like to resort to the rolling pin on this one because you don't have to worry about forming a crust. Next, place it back in the pan, and you're going to want to stretch it out the best you can. And then you're going to loosely cover it in some plastic wrap and let this dough rise for about an hour. About an hour later, the dough's had a chance to rest and rise a little bit, and now it's going to be much easier to stretch out, so we'll give it one final stretch before it goes in the oven. Now into the oven it goes for about 10 minutes, just so that the dough starts to rise a little bit. Take it out of the oven. Now I know it's not perfectly square, but it's going to taste good just the same. We're going to add our tomato sauce on top. Make sure that you leave a little room for the crust around the sides. Then we're going to sprinkle on some dried oregano. Next you're going to add your cheese. And remember you can add any toppings you'd like to this pizza. You could add anything from sausage, onion, uh, extra garlic, mushrooms, whatever it is you like. I like to have my pizzas fairly plain, so I'm just doing cheese and oregano on this one. Back into the oven we go. And about 10 minutes later, we're pulling it back out of the oven. Now we're going to use some spatulas to lift this out of the pan. Reason for this is I'm going to place it back in on the hot pizza stone for about two more minutes to get the bottom a little on the crispy side. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okay guys, our pizza's cooled down and we're going to cut it. We've got our trusty old pizza cutter. And this one, because it's a little thick, it's a little harder to cut, but we're going to do it anyway. That is really good. Guys, you gotta try this one at home. It's phenomenal. Well, from all of us here at Cooking with Paul, I'd like to thank you for tuning into another episode. 
And please click subscribe, give us a like, share our videos, whatever you'd like to do. And guys, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at Paul vs. Food. See you next time. Good night. Welcome back to another edition of tonight's episode. We're going to be making a thick. Good evening, guys. Good evening.